it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Spiegel Mum Scraps. And this month we're focusing on acetate. So as well as your sparkly sequins, Spiegel Mum also stock a wide range of adhesives and also acetate, which you need to make sequin shaker pockets. So that's what I'm going to do with it today. I've got myself a cut file here and I'm going to turn each of the little uh, kind of rectangles you see there into a, a rainbow of shaker pockets. So for my red sequins, I'm pulling those from the North Pole mix and Late Summer Thoughts. For orange, I'm using Rusted Fence and Home Sweet Home. Moving on to yellow, I've got Frosty Evergreen and I'm also going to pull some yellow from Home Sweet Home, so I've got variation in sizes. Then moving on to green, I'm going to use Frosty Evergreen and Winter Woods. Then blue, I've got Deep Blue Sea and Fern Gully. And I think I also pulled some of the greens out from that as well. And then purple, I've got Fern Gully and the Wild Whisper Purple Punch mix. And then finally, for the pinks, I'm using Carnation Bouquet and Perfect Moment. And it does take me a long time to sit at my desk and pull out all the colours I want from the mixes. Um, so I do skip through that process. Um, there was no point me doing it on camera. You'd be here forever listening to me waffle on. But I am pulling out reds from ones, oranges from another, and making my own little kind of individual coloured mixes. And each colour will be made up of um, various shapes and sizes and tones of colour um, as you'll see in a minute. So I've started my shaker pocket by adding loads of uh, red line tape to the back of my cut file. This cut file was a bargain, I think it was 37p from Silhouette Design Store um, and it's perfect for shaker pockets and I've cut it from uh, wood grain patterned paper then put that red line tape on the back um, it, that worked well around the sort of inside edge and outside edge, but those bits in between the sections were quite narrow. So I'm using a really thin double sided tape for that. Um, and then to the back of that, I'm going to stick my acetate. Now I could have done it as one whole sheet of acetate, could have like cut the circle or cut a big square and then trimmed it down. Um, but I thought that was quite wasteful of my acetate. So instead of doing that, I am cutting individual rectangles to sit behind each one. So it does take me slightly longer, but it just means I'm not being quite as wasteful. And like I said, you can get your acetate from Spiegel Mum, so you can add it to your basket at the same time as shopping for your sequins, which is perfect. Um, I'll pop a link in the description box below. Uh, that will take you to the store and it will give you a 15% discount. If for some reason your discount doesn't apply at checkout automatically, you can just pop the code Rebecca15 in the um, discount code box with that link and you'll get 15% off. I know somebody had a bit of trouble recently and um, the discount wasn't applied automatically. So if you just pop the code Rebecca15 in, you will get 15% off your entire order. And that will work on sequins and your adhesive and your acetate. I think the only thing it's not valid for are sequin pre-orders, so like next month's sequins if you want to pre-order them. The code will work on everything else in the store apart from the pre-orders. So then once I've got all my acetate in place, I'm going to add some craft foam to the back of each of those um, kind of rectangles or almost squares, I suppose. Um, and I need each of these to be done individually because I'm obviously making individual rainbow colored shaker pockets. So it does take me a while. And again, I'm going to skip through it because it's quite a boring and laborious task. Um, but I sat there doing watching Netflix or something. So um, it was all good. But it just means that each of my pockets will be individual and my sequins aren't going to spill out and all the colours are going to mix and whatnot. So it's worth taking the time to do it properly. And there we go, as if by magic. Now I had to leave this overnight. So once I put all that craft foam on the back, I then popped my sequins in. Um, and because I'd turned my shaker pocket over, I put my sequins in going clockwise. And I should have done them anti-clockwise because then obviously once I've turned it back over, my rainbow now goes anti-clockwise. Big slap on the head for me. Um, but never mind, it's still rainbow colours, it's still pretty, it's still sparkly and gorgeous. It's just that my rainbow goes anti-clockwise <laughs> instead of clockwise, um, which if you've got OCD like me, it bugs you a little bit. But hey-ho, these things happen. But yes, yeah, so I've popped all my sequins in individually. And then I've applied some glossy accents to the back of the foam, um, the craft foam. 
Then I popped a sheet of A4 card on top and I put a few heavy boxes on top of that and left it overnight to make sure that that was dry before I turned it over. So I didn't want all my sequins falling about going everywhere. So yeah, that got left for um, well, probably 24 hours by the time I got back to my desk. And I love how it looks. And then I just trimmed that white cardstock down, um, being careful to cut the little bits out where you can see that I've got those little holes in my um, view. I'm sure this is called a viewfinder. I'm sure that's what I popped in at Silhouette Store. Um, but yeah, I wanted those little holes to be see-through, so I had to cut the white card from them. And then before sticking it down to my background you saw I've just added a little bit of colour. I've used a Distressed Oxide in Broken China and I used a blending brush just to add that. Drew around my cut file so I knew where to put the ink. And I just wanted a very small amount of ink showing. I didn't want to go mad with mixed media but I just felt like I needed something for that to sit on. So I went with blue because as um, my little boy sat on a slide in the photo and although it's silver it kind of got blue tone in the photo so I've gone with the blue ink to kind of match up with that. And then I'm going to keep my embellishments simple because I don't want to cover up too many of those shaker pockets. I have had to cover a couple with my photo and I've been strategic in doing that. I'm not a lover of red, it is my least favourite colour. So I was careful to place my photo over the red section so that I've got all of my favourite colours still showing. And I had two of each, um, two shaker pockets in each colour. So I have still got one red one showing, but um, I had to cover a colour up with my photo and red was the unlucky candidate, I'm afraid. So I've put my photo over to the right hand side. I've added some um, fussy cut leaves. Those are from a Vicky Bootin stamp. I've stamped them with black stays on ink and then again on top in Distress Ink in Mowed Lawn. Um, to bring in the lovely green shade and then I've cut those out and added those around the outside edge. Then I've also added a couple of um, acetate leaves, I've got some black printed acetate leaves, i cut a few of those. Um, I've got some butterflies that I cut from a really old Paige Evans paper and then I'm finally finishing off with my title and this is courtesy of Bramble Fox, it's one of their acrylic perspectives um, so I'll pop a link in the description box to their store as well but I just love the way that the white pops against the background of the cut file with that wood grain and with all the colours of the rainbow I just think the white really stands out um, so that was the obvious choice for me. And then I'm just finishing the page off with a border. I felt like it needed something around the edge um, and where I'd cut my viewfinder purposely from the middle of this paper to leave it as a border in case I ever wanted to use it. I had it next to me on the desk and I thought, hmm, let's have a look, see what this looks like. And I actually really liked it. So I've just trimmed a quarter of an inch off of each side of my layout, added some double-sided tape from Spiegel Mum on the back. Um, and then you can see I've peeled it off and I've got myself a frame to match my viewfinder. And that is me done today. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the layout and the process and it's given you some inspiration um, in creating shaker pockets. Um, I absolutely love how these rainbow colours turned out. And there must have been like eight or ten different sequin mixes I pulled in to do this. So um, great way to use up some sequins and bring in lots of different shades and sparkle. And like I said, I'll pop that link in the description box below along with the code in case it doesn't work and you can get yourself 15% off in the store. But thank you much for Thank you very much for joining me and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.